off and now I'm making a video out of it. Why? Um, I don't know. I don't know who will ever watch this besides me. In fact, I'm kind of mortified by the thought that someone will. Uh, but I wanted to record this for posterity and also, I don't know, try my hand at video editing. And frankly, I've been throwing my words out into the vast void of the internet for a good part of the last two decades anyways as a new media journalist, aka paid blogger, and so, I don't know, what's a little more? Oh my god. I don't know if some of you are just naturals at this or something like that um, and just know how to storyboard and make your angles look nice, but I am definitely not. This is very, very much trial by error. Jesus. <sighs> An introduction to me. I'm Elaine and several years ago I was a Newswire reporter and then I was an Asian editor for Gizmodo.com and then I became the head of a website called Shanghaiist which was reporting on a whole host of China issues. And basically since my job was writing something like 10 articles a day every day uh, after I don't know, three or four years of this, I burnt out pretty badly, so I went to a business school to recuperate, and then afterwards, I went into advertising. Woo. So advertising has been great, especially for my wallet. <laughs> um, I was working for one of these global big advertising firms, um, and I don't have too much to complain about, except that I really didn't feel like I was getting as much of a chance to be creative as I had originally hoped for going into advertising. And so I quit with a very good amount of advance notice, so they still like me. And now I am free to do whatever, but I really don't actually quite know what that whatever is besides mm, travel a lot and maybe help some people out with websites, social marketing plans. And this! So because I knew I was leaving for quite a while and for the first time in my life I didn't really have an end destination in mind, I had a lot of time to stew over what I was going to be doing next. And one week to distress from like multiple days of 13 hour days in a row, I got on YouTube and went down this hours long blogging rabbit hole when I probably should have been sleeping because goodness knows I was already exhausted, but what can you do? And I think one of the reasons why it drew me in so much was it actually reminded me of what I had been doing 10 years ago, uh, only I had been, you know, typing instead of video casting. And it's funny because it's not like YouTube didn't exist back then, I'm not that old, but for some reason I had never tried this medium before. And on closer examination, the reason was uh, kind of embarrassingly because I am very self-conscious. More specifically, I didn't think I looked cute enough, and that was literally the only reason. One, it definitely wasn't because I was afraid of not finishing something. I mean, I've been around enough now and I've gone on a number of creative projects where it fizzled out, and even though it fizzled out, I still quite liked what I was able to put out into the world. And it was not like I was afraid that people would think my stuff was crap. I mean, I've been a woman on the internet for quite some time and I have had some choice experiences that I can probably share with you at some other point, but basically it really helps you develop a thick skin. And it's not even like I'm shy about public speaking. Uh, I give presentations on the fly all the time to clients. Um, I've emceed events and I've actually even appeared on TV a couple times. And actually appearing on TV was pretty fun except for the part where I then watched myself because every time I looked at myself on TV I would get kind of 
bummed out for not meeting an aesthetic standard in my own mind. And as a 30-something feminist who's all about body positivity, who wouldn't think twice about ruining somebody else's life if they were disparaging somebody else's body, I was struck by how mentally I was kind of being a jerk to myself. I'd think things like, no, I can't really vlog, I don't know how to do hair or makeup, as you can tell. No, I can't vlog, the skin under my eyes is too puffy and my face looks bloated. No, I can't vlog, I've got jowls, especially from certain angles. <laughs> uh, there's something deeply rooted there that needs to be destroyed. There really shouldn't be a reason why I should be uh, okay with putting words on the internet but not my face because I think my jawline doesn't look as nice as it could. And I'm going to destroy it by putting myself out there until I am numb to how bad I think I look. That's my plan. But really, I don't know. I think if there's anything that I've learned in these 30 something years of existence, it's that like the only thing that's ever held me back was my own perception of myself. And now that I've identified that this is a perception of myself that is not useful for me, I think I need to conquer it. So, I don't know, I'm trying to conquer it. I did a little bit of research before beginning to film and everything says that I'm supposed to find a niche, but I've always been really bad even during my writing stage of sticking to a niche because there are just too many things that are interesting out there. I mean, who am I kidding? This is probably not gonna be a money maker for me. I've got a whole bunch of freelance gigs for that and you know, five years now of savings. And to be honest, it's not like I've proven myself to have the discipline to be able to edit a video every week anyway, so whatever, this is an experiment. Uh, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. And so, this is me starting a video blog. If nobody ever watches it except for me, I mean, I guess thank God. <laughs> And if somebody does, and I've created some good content in the end, then, well, yay! Like, I got over it myself, and I learned how to video edit. So, it's like an overall win. Plus, I really need something to fill my free time, or I will spend the entirety of it watching anime on the couch, never moving. Anyway, I'm doing video. I'll be talking about things that matter to me, hopefully with people who matter to me. and welcome to my vlog.